Greetings, welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube thing about uh, upgrading my uh, PC and uh, today we are going to be installing a uh, liquid cooling, a AIO or uh, all-in-one liquid cooling from Corsair, that being the H115i RGB Platinum, that's uh, quite the name and uh, well this, is, uh, this was a uh, donation to the channel by the guys at uh, Switch Technology, a link that I'll be uh, leaving uh, in the description of, of this video. This is not a uh, sponsored video, but well, they donated this, so uh, yeah, I uh, I want to uh, name them in the, in the video and uh, leave a link because uh, well, they are pretty cool guys, and uh, well, if I'm um, accepting some stuff from them might as well mention their uh, store before that and while this video is not sponsored by switch technology in Lisboa I've been talking with them for quite some time now not only they have great prices and stores spread throughout the country they have great customer care and concerns with computer history and its preservation please check their store in the link below for more information so as I've stated we are going to install this in my uh, main machine which is uh, right there on the side and well this is my first time going with um, a water cooling solution because uh, well I'm uh, those one of those old school guys that um, uh, well likes air but uh, well I uh, never trusted uh, with um, water going on uh, inside tubes and whatnot inside a um, machine with uh, electronic components and whatnot so uh, yeah enough jibber jabber let's uh, since we are here here we have my uh, letter opener thing since we are here might as well do uh, some kind of uh, unboxing because uh, why not let's just cut through this uh, the plastic Again, first time messing with some water cooling. I've been uh, reading a lot about AIO solutions and whatnot because uh, I'm uh, totally unexperienced with it. Now I have some knowledge about it, about what it's supposed to do when compared to air cooling with the uh, uh, noise and the cooling factors with it. So uh, yeah. I believe this opens up like this indeed can we put it down yes we can like so we have some foam we have a uh, warranty guide uh, okay we have a manual for the H100 and the H115i they are both the same cooler, I believe one is uh, 120 millimeters and the other is 140, so that's a thing. Here we have the pump itself, let's remove a cable, USB cable to plug into our motherboard. We have uh, the very expensive fans by uh, Corsair. I don't know these uh, these are made out of gold or something because yeah, they are super expensive. But whatever, that's not the point. They are pretty damn pretty darn cool. 140 millimeter fan. Another 140 millimeter. This is a double fan solution. You can also get the one fan solution or the three. We have some brackets that we are going to check out in a moment. That's a lot of screws. And we have the... Uh, let me just take this off of here. And we have the cooler itself or the radiator and pump. Oops. Which uh, go like this. Well, this is a radiator with Corsair logo on the side. And here we have uh, a 
power pump that will go into the CPU itself. So, uh, yeah, let's put these to the side, why not? We're going to need some screws, as I always say, we're going to need this, the fans, and why not separate the bracket that we need, which I believe is uh, this one. Uh, no, this is for Intel, this is also for Intel sockets. And this is the one for uh, AMD AM4 sockets. So uh, we are going to be using this one. And uh, we also need to put the uh, original black pl back plate in our motherboard and uh, put our CPU cooling stands back into the board because these will need these. So uh, let's start by uh, removing our old cooler. Ah, it's too freaking hot in here. So here we have my machine and we need to start uh, removing some stuff. Like the fans, for example, the fans on the CPU. Which we won't be using anymore. So the CPU cooler is completely unscrewed, as you can see it's still stuck in there. This is because of the thermal paste and you just give it a little jiggle to the side and uh, there we are, a perfect thermal paste appliance job, pretty cool. We are not going to be needing this anymore, so we need to remove these fans. They are connected somewhere. I've already disconnected the 4 pin, but we also need to disconnect the RGB, which is somewhere around here. So, because this video isn't about disassembling stuff, but rather installing the new uh, AIO water cooling, here's the stuff that I did. I've removed off camera, of course. I've removed the um, cooler that I was using, the uh, Cooler Master thing. What's the name of it? I don't know. The Hyper 212 Black Edition. I removed the cooler. I've uh, also removed the uh, cooler black black back plate and uh, reinstalled the um, original back plate that came with the board itself. Uh, I removed the GPU because of uh, space issues to uh, work around and stuff. And uh, I've also removed the uh, two intake 120mm fans because we, we are going to be using the ones that came with the cooler itself. And now I have some um, spare 120 mm Polaris in-win RGB fans which continue to be, at least in my opinion, some of the best and beautiful RGB fans out there when it comes to that binary of uh, price and quality. These are really really cool and I also have two um, Cooler Master RGB fans that I was using with my CPU cooling solution and uh, well, four RGB fans in total, and I have the original fans, the uh, Silencio fans that came with the cooler itself, so um, yeah, time to um, try and put uh, this uh, huge guy, which uh, one thing that I don't know is uh, if it even fits inside the case or not so time to put this guy oops uh, <laughs> seriously does it go on an angle maybe mm, I think we have some 
clearance issues over here with the front I.O. Yep, it doesn't fit. How nice. How nice indeed. <sighs> Don't know if it cuts up on camera or not, but uh, the cooler is banging against the uh, front I.O. panel thing. So, uh, how nice. I suppose I need to buy a new case. So uh, here we have a Fractal Design Meshify C, a case that I've been uh, wanting to use for uh, quite some time now. And it is all black and white because of uh, celebrating diversity here on the channel. I was not expecting to swap cases, but uh, yeah, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, so I believe it is time for a music PC montage kind of thing, so uh, yeah, why not? Let's do it.
And some stuff is um, all plugged and uh, connected. My setup is uh, rebuilt. Uh, setup, uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, video, uh, computer uh, assembling, montage kind of thing. And I guess, well, it is time to uh, give it a go. So uh, let's do it in three, two, one. Well, Houston, we have power. And the fans are doing what I had programmed to do when it's booting up, when it, the PC is starting up. So yeah, front fans are working with some sweet RGB and the pump also, as you can see. So yeah, let's take this for a quick test drive. So I've been messing with the IQ software from Corsair that controls the RGB and, front spe and fan speeds and whatnot, but it is not very intuitive. It works, for example, when it comes to lighting effects. It works by layers, where, uh, for example, if you want a... Um, I don't know, let me, let me do a, a new one. Everything is off and we can have a new one. Let's say we want a color pulse. It applies to the pump and the fans. And then you can select the pump only and now the fans are off, you can't see it because of the camera angle. So now only the pump is on a color pulse. And if we had a new layer, one has to keep in mind that the pump already changed because the new layer resets everything. So if I want something just for the fans, I don't know, like a uh, rainbow wave, then I select the fans only and the pump returned to the previous one to the color pulse and the fans are now in a rainbow wave kind of thing so uh, it's a little sketchy not very intuitive but um, it is what it is so um, yeah it works so I had it like this. Okay. Oh, and by the way, you can uh, move layers around like so. If I put it like this, all things are white. And if I put it like this, we have the fans in uh, light blue with a wave, like blue wave thing, and the CPU also, so, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but, uh, whatever, so, uh, yeah, it works, so, um, it begs the question, can we play all those uh, modern games now with a new case, a fractal design mesh of IC case, and with some, uh, Corsair water cooling, we gotta play all those modern games.
So yeah, this is um, it for this um, PC uh, upgrading video. Well, this was meant to be just a um, Corsair AIO uh, build, but um, whatever. We end up ended up swapping the case, and now I'm using a um, Fractal Design Meshify C, which is uh, pretty cool. And again, I'm going with that black and white theme going on. Again, a big thank you to the guys at Switch Technology for being fans of the channel and for their support. Obviously, speaking of support, did you subscribe to the channel? If not, click that uh, subscribe button down here because uh, your support is also very much appreciated. Leave a like in this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, well, um, sorry about that. Remember that you can follow me on uh, the various social media networks that exist for some uh, social media nonsense and what not. And, uh, well, thank you very much for uh, watching this. And uh, until my next video, take care.